Cubase has various controls to help you change the settings to your liking. There are two special ones that are worth talking about. One is called the slider control, and the other is the rotary control. And let me demonstrate how you can reset them. One common one here is the mix console. Let me drag that up here. You see, this is a slider control. It has two parts to it. The slider itself, which you can click on it and drag up and down. And there's a corresponding value that changes when you change the slider. So if I wanted this particular groove agent, or let's do the Tex Mex guitar, if I wanted to not be zero decibel, but I wanted it to be a different value, let's take it down to minus six or so, and you see it changed here. Suppose I wanted it exactly at minus seven, I could actually double click on the value and just type from the keyboard minus seven and watch the slider. It changed automatically as I did that. So that's a very handy way to do it. Now, there are sliders throughout Cubase, and at various times, if you want to go back to a default value, for example, in the fader, a default would be zero decibels, all you need to do is hold down the control key and click on either the slider or on the value. Let me do that. I'll go anywhere in the slider, hold down the control key, and click. You see how it automatically jumped to the zero point and the value changed. I could also do that in the value. I'm going to hold down, what does it say here now? Minus 10. I'm going to hold down the control key and click in there. There it's back to zero. And the same thing works for other kinds of sliders. Here is the panner. Let me show you a larger panner. I could move that over anywhere inside the sliding portion. Hold down the control key and it goes back to center. Hold down the control key on the value back to center. And you'll see this throughout. For example, here's the Halion Sonic SE. Uh, there's values. Move that. Hold down the control key. It goes back to center. And so the, you'll see this everywhere. But not just sliders, but there's also rotary controls. For example, here is the Studio EQ. It has these rotary controls, which is very similar. You hold down the mouse, and you can drag up and down to change the value. And as it changes, the value itself changes too. And the same way, just like a slider control, you can double click on the value and change that. Let's make that 12,000 and hit the Enter key, and it's changed. And now to reset it back to original value, the exact same thing. Hold on the Control key and click on either the control or on the value. Here we go. It goes back to the default that's set for it, which is 10,000. And you'll see it here. You'll see it throughout the various Cubase controls. One more I'll show you is in Groove Agent SE. Here we have rotary controls. Here's a panner. Here's a, a course setting here. Let's do seven semi. All I got to do again, hold down the control key and click, and it goes right back. So it's a handy little way to reset your various settings back to a standard starting point. <laughs>